Hey, Pretty Girl Club. So I want to address this Kiki Palmer situation with uh, Darius Jackson because I have been following Kiki Palmer on this channel for a couple of years now. And I have always thought that she was an interesting case because Kiki Palmer exhibits a lot of the common qualities that we see from a lot of unambiguous monoracial black women. Um, in the past, I've talked about how I've noticed that Kiki Palmer has had a habit of really thirsting after a lot of MLS guys. Um, I've talked on this channel before about how she seems to not mind going through a hypogamous relationship. And I also talked about the hypocrisy that was shown in the black empowerment space when Kiki Palmer began dating Darius Jackson and how a lot of people will call black men colorists if they have a history of only wanting an MLS woman. But if you have someone like Kiki Palmer who has a history of only wanting an MLS man at all costs, then suddenly it's not colorism. And you know, it's, it has nothing to do with skin tone. So I've talked about that before. I have also talked about how Darius is extremely dusty and how he has, I think, about one-seventh of the amount of wealth that Kiki Palmer has. So I never supported this relationship from the beginning. And if you look at my older videos, you will see that. But now I just woke up this morning and I was drinking my coffee and then I realized that apparently Darius Jackson has been abusing Kiki Palmer, allegedly, and this was actually caught on camera, and so I'm going to show some photos here on the screen. This is him throwing her over the side of the couch, and uh, apparently Kiki Palmer has also filed a restraining order against Darius. We all know that recently he was attempting to control the outfits that she was wearing, um, so he was kind of espousing some of these red pill talking points, and we all know that uh, the red pill definitely supports a lot of abuse tactics and control tactics against women. And so, but I've noticed that Kiki in the past, due to her behaviors, she seemed to not really care because I've seen her thirst over so many MLS guys who look like Darius over the years to the point where she seemed to just want to be with him at all costs. And by the way, I'm not trying to blame Kiki Palmer for this because this is absolutely Darius's fault. Um, no one deserves to be abused or mistreated at all. But this is exactly why I make decentering men content on this channel because even though it can be fun to like have a boyfriend and you think he's hot or you guys like are sleeping together or whatever and you're going out together, I think it's still important to make sure that you are never so male-centered to the point where you overlook all of the red flags that a lot of men tend to have. Because if you compare Darius and Kiki Palmer, I guess my question is, what could Darius have had to offer her in terms of the actual lifestyle she would be living if she were to stay with him? So I think that a lot of men, they tend to think of dating maybe in terms of sex or whatever, or in terms of how the woman can serve him. I've noticed this with uh, Darius Jackson. I also noticed this with Corey Hardrick, Tia Mori's ex-husband. I've noticed that a lot of men, they will latch on to women who are successful or they're smart or talented. And because that man, because the woman thinks that that man is fine or whatever, then she will allow it because she's like, hey, you know, you fit my uh, standard of what I want physically, so I'm all good. And I think that it's an even more interesting talking point when we see unambiguous women do this. Because by the way, I've seen a lot of unambiguous women do this in real life where they will see a guy who they think is so fine or so hot or whatever, and they'll be with him at all costs. Meanwhile, that man will have a history of abusing women. So with Darius, I talked about on this channel how he actually, before he got with her, he was with someone else and basically like dumped that girl so that he could get with Kiki. And he was pressuring the former girl to get an abortion at the time that he even got with Kiki. So Kiki overlooked these things or whatever because she was just in love or in my opinion, maybe she was in love with how he looked because like I said, Kiki Palmer has in the past publicly thirsted over people like Michael Ely or people like Corey Hardrick. And so Darius Jackson fits the phenotype. That's obviously her preferred type as far as what she wants physically. And a lot of people talk about the fetishization of MLS women, but not as many people talk about how much people fetishize MLS men. Because 
I've seen lots of unambiguous women say that they really want to have a baby with an MLS man so that their baby comes out with quote unquote good hair or they come out lighter skinned or they come out kind of looking more ambiguous. And I see a lot of unambiguous black women doing that now, but maybe not as much with MLS men. I see them doing it more so with going straight up for a white man because they just want straight up biracial mixed race babies who have, you know, a lot more admixture or whatever. So apparently Darius had been love bombing Kiki um, from the beginning or whatever, and he would get extremely jealous, which again, I've already pointed out. And this is why I say do not date hypogamously, meaning a guy who has way less achievements than you, way less money than you. You know, he kind of doesn't really have much going for himself. He doesn't have as much ambition as you. And this doesn't necessarily mean that the man is a failure because I'm sure Darius had his own job or something like that. But I just think that women in general, you should not center your life around a man to the point where you're willing to lower your own standards or lower yourself down. And um, by the way, like I said, I'm not trying to victim blame here because Kiki Palmer did not deserve to be abused by this guy. She didn't deserve for him to hit her or for him to control her. But I do want to use this as a very unfortunate case study about how a lot of times when we as women, when we are male-centered, meaning, oh, we just see a guy and we just think he's so hot or we just want to date him or he fits our fetish or our physical type or whatever, sometimes this can open us up to bad situations. And I know that like it's pretty much impossible to predict what guy is going to end up being a crazy abuser. So this is why I just suggest that women just leave and just ghost at the first sign of him being an abuser. So it's like, you know, when the, as soon as the guy publicly humiliates me on social media, I would definitely be gone. As soon as a guy starts talking trash about my outfits or saying that I look slutty or whatever, I would definitely be gone. And again, this is why I say you should decenter men because men are extremely hypocritical. They'll talk about how, oh, you know, you're not respecting your own body by wearing this slutty outfit to a concert. Meanwhile, he's not respecting your body by putting his hands on you. So do you see how hypocritical a lot of men are? Anyway, Kiki has filed a restraining order against Darius Jackson, and she also filed to have full custody of their child because of his crazy behaviors. He apparently uh, broke into her house. He trespassed into her home and started physically attacking her. So that's a very traumatizing type of situation, especially if you have a baby in the home. And I guess he was demanding to see the baby at that time because he wanted to take the baby to a football game. But this is exactly what I'm talking about when I talk about how a lot of guys, no matter how they look, in my opinion, a lot of guys actually are quote unquote incels or they're touch starved or, you know, outside of having a woman as their girlfriend, a lot of guys, they have no other social interactions or love in their lives because of the way that men were socialized. So if Kiki Palmer was kind of the only thing that he had in terms of socialization or love or someone touching him in a loving way, then it could be very traumatizing if she gets mad at him and leaves him or whatever. I've talked a lot about how when it comes to monocultural African American men, how a lot of them, they don't know anything. They don't have any other version of touch other than sexual touch or, uh, physical hitting, like getting whoopings and stuff. So I don't know if Darius Jackson is monoculturally African American. He could easily be multicultural. I have no idea. But this just kind of made me think of that. How a lot of guys in the black community, they don't understand conflict resolution. Or, you know, they don't have knowledge on psychology and sociology and how to soothe yourself. A lot of men in general haven't even ever been to therapy. They don't even see its value. So if you're with a man who is generally emotionally unavailable, or he doesn't even know what therapy really is, or he's just got a very codependent type of personality, or he's trying to police you, he's trying to police your body, but then turns around and disrespects it, he has problems with hypocrisy, then how is that man really going to help and serve your life? And I think this is an unfortunate situation for Kiki Palmer, but what do you guys think? Are you surprised that he was domestically abusing her? Are you surprised by that? Because I'm not surprised at all.
Are you surprised that she ended up having to file a restraining order? I've noticed that a lot of, there are a lot of toxic MLS men in particular that women, especially unambiguous black women, still want to be with or they still lust after them because he's cute. Chris Brown is a great example of this as well. He reminds me of Darius Jackson, where he's this MLS guy that a lot of unambiguous women like or they think he's cute and they're paying a thousand dollars to take a photo with him, but they completely ignore the way that he treats women. This is why on this channel, even though I personally date MLS men, I still don't believe in centering men in general because this is the type of stuff that you could open, open yourself up to when you're dealing with a man, no matter what his race is. Anyway, what do you ladies think of this? Let me know in the comment section and I'll talk to you next time. Stay pretty, ladies.